Rapunzel from Grimm's Fairy Tales Retold by Keisha Senf Illustrated by Morrow Rogers There once was a young girl named Rapunzel. She was known for her long and beautiful golden hair. Rapunzel and her mother lived in a small cottage on a hill. From their window they could see a magical garden. It belonged to an evil witch. One day Rapunzel's mother was sick. She lay in bed, staring out the window. If I ate just one vegetable from that magical garden, she whispered, I know I would be well again. That night Rapunzel climbed the high stone wall that surrounded the witch's garden. She filled her basket with vegetables and quickly ran back home. The next morning, Rapunzel made a thick soup with the vegetables. She gave it to her mother. This soup is so good, her mother said. I feel so much better. Rapunzel was overjoyed. Suddenly, the front door burst open. I know you stole vegetables from my garden, girl, yelled the ugly old witch. She grabbed Rapunzel by the arm and dragged her from the cottage. The witch locked Rapunzel in a high tower with no door and no stairs. There was only a small window at the very top. Rapunzel spent her day sitting in the tower window, singing with the birds. One day, a brave knight followed the sound of Rapunzel singing. When he saw her, he instantly fell in love. The knight hid when the witch approached. He watched as she called out, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The girl threw her long braid from the window, and the witch climbed to the top. The next day, the knight returned to the tower. Rapunzel, let down your hair, he cried. Rapunzel let her long braid drop from the window. The knight quickly climbed up. Kneeling before Rapunzel, the knight said, Beautiful maiden, I am here to rescue you. But how are we to escape? she asked. The knight drew his sword. With a single stroke, he cut Rapunzel's braid from her head. He fastened one end to the bedpost and threw the other end out the window. Let's go, he said. The two hid in the woods until the witch appeared. They watched the witch climb the tower. When she reached the top, the knight jumped out he set the rope of hair on fire. I have been fooled, the witch cried. Rapunzel and her brave knight climbed onto his horse and rode away. They lived the rest of their lives happily ever after. <laughs>